Hey guys, it's Jan Charte and I'm back again with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering a question that I get all the time. What's better shopping in the fashion district, shopping online or shopping at a trade show? So if you're interested in this topic, stay tuned. But before we move on, make sure you hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel if you have not and let's go. All right. So first and foremost, I want to say that each of these avenues for shopping uh, and buying wholesale clothing have their advantages so um i'll start with the fashion district so my personal favorite is shopping in the fashion district i prefer shopping in the fashion district over shopping online and shopping at a trade show so i prefer the fashion district because it's a lot more calm first and foremost um i can work on my own time i can actually sit down and have a conversation with a person um, I can tell them all about my business, what I'm looking for, what my price point is, a little bit more about like the people that we serve, the type of merchandise I'm looking for, and actually have somebody listen to me and then pull pieces that are or could be uh, relevant to my business or that might work for my business. So I enjoy the fashion district mostly because of the human interaction that I get. Um, whereas at a trade show, yes, you get human interaction, but not as personally as you do in the fashion district so at a trade show like magic um that's the only one that i've attended i attend magic twice a year i always attend magic over any other trade show just because um it's in vegas first of all and uh from what i hear it's the biggest and that's where you're going to get the most exposure to vendors so when you attend a trade show like magic it is super overwhelming like i've been to magic numerous times and it never gets less overwhelming um so there's tons of vendors. They're all in one space in, in a convention center. So there are all these vendors. There's all these people walking up and down aisles all day. People are stepping on toes, literally. And it's just a lot going on. It's complete chaos. And so as you are entering um, all of these booths, yes, there are people there to you know, answer your questions or help you, but you don't get that same level of service that you would get in the fashion district. In the fashion district, things move a lot more slowly. Um, there aren't a ton of people inside of the shops um, and things like that. And generally speaking, especially as I get to know a lot more of you guys or just uh, get to know more new or aspiring boutique owners, there's a lot of people that don't even know that the fashion district exists. And there's so many people that are ordering merchandise online. So. The fashion district tends to be a much more chill environment um, and I enjoy that. I enjoy being able to like go inside of a showroom, sit down at a table, drink some water, talk to a person, all of that. Um, so the fashion district's advantage, in my opinion, is the human interaction that you get and the personal level of service that you can get. So moving on to a trade show, what I do enjoy about a trade show is that all of the vendors are in one place. So when I say all the vendors, I don't mean like every vendor that there is in the world because there are tons of them. And also, uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is that some vendors can't afford to uh, display at Magic. So at Magic, most of these vendors come and they build uh, a booth. And so these aren't just like a tent with some racks. These are like booths with like crazy cool mannequins and racks and and all types of crazy things so it costs money um and so there's a lot of vendors that actually don't showcase at trade shows because of how much it costs and and you will only find them in the fashion district so i keep going back and forth between the two but that's another advantage to the fashion district is that there are so many vendors there that you will not find at a trade show and that you will not find online such as on fashion go and things of that nature so like i was just in the fashion district yesterday i was there from monday till yesterday morning thursday and there was so many vendors that were either brand new or vendors who only are in the fashion district they don't have a website they don't they're not on fashion go they're not on ellis showroom and they never display at trade shows so the fashion district also gives you access to vendors that you wouldn't necessarily have access to if you um, shopped online or attended a trade show. So let me go back to the trade show. So one of the advantages to Magic, I, I'm gonna use Magic as an example because that's the only one that I've been to and the only experience that I have to go off of. So one of the things I really do enjoy about Magic is that there are so many boutique owners in one space, so you get to connect with like-minded people. 
and uh, they also have seminars. So throughout the duration of uh, the days that magic is taking place, there are seminars going on each of those days throughout the entire day and the seminars cover various topics from beginners level to like you're making millions in your business and you're looking for ways to leverage or grow or whatever um so i really enjoy the seminars i i'm like a super nerd i love ner learning new things so i do really enjoy the seminars um and things of that nature and i do enjoy getting to meet you guys so that's another plus more so personally for me i get to meet so many of you guys but you get to meet a lot of like-minded people who um you never know you might learn something from um so if you stay at one of the hotels that are uh, affiliated with magic during that period um, there's a shuttle that takes you back and forth from the convention center to the hotel and, and vice versa and so when I'm on that shuttle I meet so many people it's crazy one year I met an older woman she had been in business for 20 years and we were just chatting about like what she knew what I knew so like I was giving her advice about like social media and um, like creating graphics online and things like that and she was giving me advice about like longevity and how to like maintain and sustain your business so you never know who you're going to meet in those those uh spaces and i really enjoy that aspect so moving on to the online aspect so similarly to uh the trade show i do enjoy shopping on like platforms like fashion go because of all the vendors that are in one space um so I do enjoy the fact that you can type into the search bar what you're looking at. Now, granted, you may not get an exact, um, you know, get find exactly what it is that you're looking for, but sometimes that search bar really is pretty handy. So um, I enjoy being able to like type in what I'm looking for and and some options pop up rather than me having to walk up and down a street in the fashion district praying that one of these vendors on the street that I'm on has what I'm looking for. So um, I do feel like shopping online on a platform like Fashion Go or LA Showroom does have its advantages by way of allowing you to be able to search for things that you're looking for. Um, but again, like I said, you don't always necessarily get uh, search results that match exactly what you're looking for. So it's kind of like hit or miss, I guess you could say. Um, I enjoy being able to see new arrivals coming in. So um, each one of those platforms has a menu where you can search for products by the dates it was the date that it was released. So um, there's usually like a new arrivals tab. I know on LA Showroom, they have like new arrivals in the last 24 hours, new arrivals in the last 72 hours, things like that. So I enjoy being able to see, um, you know, the new arrivals coming in and things like that. Um, on Fashion Go, there is a tab in their menu that says best of best, I think it's called. And basically it shows you like all of these items that are basically like the top purchase items on Fashion Go for that week or whatever. So I look at that uh, periodically, you'd be surprised. A lot of those things that you guys send me messages about asking me if I have seen that item, a lot, a lot of the time they will be in um, listed under the best of best on uh, Fashion Go. So um, those wholesale marketplaces online are not the only places that you can find wholesale merchandise. So a lot of vendors have their own website. So I do like to shop on some vendors websites and for good reason so um recently and i kind of figured it but I, I was able to confirm um that when a vendor has a space on a platform like fashion go la showroom things like that they have to pay a fee for that so um they pay a flat flat rate fee monthly and then they also have to pay a commission for all of the items that they sell through that platform and so over time, one of the things that I've noticed through my own shopping is that a lot of times in the fashion district, the prices are cheaper than they would be at a trade show and on Fashion Go. And that's because they have to pay a commission on the items that they sell from those platforms. So sometimes purchasing it from them on their personal website, if they have one, is a cheaper option. So um, the vendors that I shop with frequently, I have a, an account with them on their own website so that I can avoid the surcharge that would, would be on like a platform uh, like Fashion Go or LA Showroom. So not all vendors, again, have a website. So sometimes you can't get around that. But 
Also, um, you can also call these vendors. So uh, if you're looking at a vendor's page on Fashion Go or LA Showroom, all of them has a space where it has info about that wholesaler, their phone number, their email address, and things like that. So if you don't, or if you think that there might be a chance that the item is cheaper in the showroom or on that, if you bought it per you know, directly from that vendor. You can contact them via Facebook, not Facebook, via email or a phone and say, you know, hi, I was interested in item number, blah, 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 or give them a description of the item, ask them how much it is, ask them if you can purchase it. And some of them will allow you to purchase it over the phone. So I know some people are a little weary about giving their, you know, credit card information over the phone and things of that nature. Some of them will send you a credit card authorization form via email and you fill it out and then um, send it back to them. I've had a lot of people ask me like, is that normal? It's completely normal. Uh, they do it all the time. But again, it's an option. Uh, so sometimes it's, the price is cheaper, sometimes it's not. Um, and that's another benefit to the fashion district. So not all vendors will do this, but some of them are willing to negotiate prices. Um, because the fashion district is so much more of a chill space, um, I feel like there's not as much traffic coming into the store as they may see online. And like I said, some of them don't have an online store so or, or, or an online presence, so they probably aren't getting as many sales as they would like. So when I'm in the fashion district, there's a lot of times where sometimes I'm negotiating prices and sometimes they just offer it to me for a cheaper price than it's listed for. So that's another benefit to the fashion district. Um, so yeah, so like I said, all of these platforms or all of these different avenues and ways to shop for wholesale merchandise, all of them have their own benefits. Um, it's more about finding what works for you. Um, but also I wanna encourage you to make the smartest decisions. So like some people feel like, um, going to the fashion district or to a trade show is expensive, but when you start calculating how much you spend in shipping or how much extra you're paying for the item on uh, online versus buying it in person and things like that, like those, in the moment, those numbers may seem small, but when you add them up, it could be pretty significant. So I wanna encourage you guys to not only, you know, do your research, but make smart decisions and figure out what's the best option and what's the most feasible thing or what will make the most sense for you and your business. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope it's shared something of value or hope I shared something of value with you guys. Um, if you haven't already, hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel if you have not, and comment and let me know what you wanna see a future video about. Until next time.